Okay, this is going to be the video on building out your hiring funnel on your Booking Koala website. So first things first, to be able to do this, you're going to need the biggest package um, in Booking Koala. So that's, I think it's the $249 a month. That gives you access to the hiring part of the website. So first thing, we'll go and click on hiring. And since I already have a funnel built, that's what we're seeing now. To begin the process, you're going to want to go to Forms under Settings, Create New. So I've created a test funnel. And in here, you can plug and play uh, building out a form. So this will be basically your application to acquire any sort of information you want on your potential applicant. So you can start with name, last name, email. Um, I've added something like how many hours are you looking for. So what you'll do is you can drag and drop a multiple choice. Over here on the right is where you can edit it. So question, do you have experience, right? So that can be your question. You don't need a sub-label. This is where you have the different options. You go down. This way you can edit. Yes. No. Maybe you don't want these two. Then you can get down into some settings. Horizontal. If you want it required, usually everything on your application should be required as it just gives you more information on your applicant. Um, read only hidden and auto reject. So auto reject is something that can help you filter out bad applicants. So if you're hiring full-time positions, um, then if somebody's only looking for zero to 10 hours, what you can do is select auto reject. And if somebody's looking for those hours, you don't have positions for that. So you don't want to start interviewing people that don't qualify for the position. Same thing if if you have, let's say, a do you have a criminal record? Maybe you don't want people with criminal records. Maybe you do high profile um, cleanings. You would auto reject yes. So in here you can pretty much add anything you want. Text input, you can put this in. And that gives you a big area to type. So I'll preview this for you so you can see. So do you have experience? Yes. How many hours are you looking for? 10 to 20. Detail all your cleaning experience. They can type it in there. Type your other question in there. This one's a drop down menu version of this style of question. Right? So you can just play with it and build out an application that you want. I'll give you an example of what ours looks like on our website. So start application. We have name, last name, email, phone number, uh, postal code. We have this because we service multiple cities. So it's important to know where the people are applying for just in case we may not be hiring in that area. Um, which position. So this is where you can put if, um, if you have different variations of your job. Like we have house cleaning, night janitorial, window cleaning. We have a bunch of different positions. So this is where you can add that. What type of availability do you have? Do they want full-time or part-time? How many hours are they looking for? Do they have driver's license and reliable transportation? This is another good auto reject. If they don't have either, then I don't bother. You need both. Are you afraid of heights? This is for our windows and gutters. Criminal record. Years of experience. Do you have any window cleaning experience? And then in detail, describe every, all the experience you have. And then how did you hear about us? And then they submit. And so once your form is completed, you'll go back. And now here's your form. This is the form that will be put on your website. 
the next stage is the onboarding. So you will add a new funnel, and this is the funnel to bring your prospects through during their hiring process. So the prospect this will auto populate with who applies, and this is just a progression bar for when stuff's completed. So you go add new column, and this will be say first interview. Maybe you do one Zoom interview and then one in-person interview. So this will be that one. And then after that, maybe they're hired. And then you deliver manuals. And then you have quizzes and you have a contract to be signed right so this is kind of how you can build out what stages you have in your hiring process I'll give you an example of of ours so background check you probably do after your second interview before they're hired right deliver manuals quizzes contract so save that and now what will happen is when you go to your prospects and somebody applies you will select onboard and you'll pick the funnel that you want to add them into so we'll go new funnel so we just built now we'll go to onboarding new funnel So here he is. This is our new applicant. And what you'll do is, so you've done your first interview, you select done, and this is your completion bar. Background check, maybe you're waiting for it, maybe doesn't apply. You've delivered the manuals, and you're waiting for the quizzes to be completed, and you're waiting for the contract. So this way you can keep all your prospects organized and make sure you're not skipping any steps in terms of them being onboarded. And now if you want to create those quizzes, they are also under forms. And they are exactly like building the hiring application form. You plug and play anything you want in here to build out the quizzes for your manuals. So I'll give you an example of our quizzes. So we have one of our cleaning procedures manual. So name, email, phone number, and then just simple questions that shows that they've read through everything in our manual. And this also gives the ability that when you show when they show up for their first day, They've already read the manuals. They know the processes. Um, so it kind of streamlines, kind of streamlines your first day and can kind of get the ball rolling a little bit quicker. And from there, you have now built out your entire onboarding from the application on your website all the way to somebody being hired. And you have it all documented right in here. To add another note for your contract, this is kind of like the final for what we do. We have a new hiring contract, and this is kind of like a do not compete, just so employees don't steal our clients and then start their own business. And we have just this formatted from a law firm and uh, uploaded it to Booking Koala.